Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A colossal shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. To join them in becoming a member and support the channel, check out the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7S3 Where's UK Mod. So, last episode, I decided, you know what? Let's just do something for the horde. Uh, if it fails, it fails. If not, then cool. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it as close as possible to this PRI. Just in case it fails, then we do have a place to fall back on. Another question is, should I do it on this side, close to my base? I just hope the zombies don't spawn inside and break stuff. That's a big problem right now. Um, if they spawn inside or they break through this place to get to me, that's going to be a disaster. So I wonder... Let's do it in the middle of the road over here. Then we have some gravel all over or uh, asphalt all over. And then we can also, we can jump on this roof and then run to that roof. And we just need to make sure that we survive. Last episode, we also found the impact brace mod. So now we can actually jump without worrying about our legs. Which, guys, that's actually great, great news. Um, Technically, I could use that base, right? As the defense, as the structure for my defense. The problem with it is the fact that it's uh, it's a pure eye. The zombies are going to respawn. So if I build over here and the zombies respawn, then we have to worry about those zombies and the Horde Knight zombies. I wonder if I shouldn't try and build one here in the parking lot. It's just the only problem is there's no asphalt over here. So if this stuff breaks, it breaks. But what I could do is I could connect it to the roof. If I could connect it to the roof, zombies shouldn't be able to reach me there. And I just need to protect myself against vultures. But the same thing. I don't know if it's too close to my base over here. If it's too close and we lose our base, that's going to be a massive blow. I think what I'm going to do instead... There's a school ground over here, right? So I'm going to build right in front of the school. It should be far enough away from my base, hopefully. Um, the biggest fear right now is just them spawning inside my base. But if they don't do that, well, then we're all set. Man, everything... Guys, this, this mod makes me um, anxious. I thought there was a zombie around the corner. And then I saw the trees move like, oh, zombie. Nope, no zombie. Just... I'm just scared. <laughs> okay. Um, these are stone stairs, right? Oh, please don't tell me the zombies have respawned. Yep, that's stone stairs. What can I buy here? Nothing. Okay. Um, there's nothing that I want to build anyways right now. Or what I want to do from there. See, I wanted to use this as the backdrop, but if the zombies can get up those stairs, there's no point in that. I need to be able to remove the stairs or just make my own makeshift one and hopefully the zombies use it. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to go for a full block. And we'll put the cobble blocks around that. So I'm going to start making while we're busy with this. Some flagstone blocks. Unfortunately, it's four per. But if we can make about a hundred. Let's make about 50 for now. We'll make more if the time comes. And the crafting time's surprisingly fast. Okay, so we're going to go for one, two, three, four. It's not dark as full, so we don't have to go too high. This should do the trick. I want to try and do a basic design like we did in Zombie Days, the first ward base. But even more simple than that. It needs to just be able to hold for a first ward night or two. Until we're able to get those rewards for the builder class. But for that, I need to go digging for some clay. Okay, so as soon as we've done that, let's just do this as well. I want to make sure that I don't accidentally place these. A zombie comes by and destroys the rebar. The rebar is very precious right now. Okay, so also over here, we're going to have to use this one whole defense guys this by now you guys know this is my go-to defense um especially early game this is the best one and then you can start experimenting later on there's no point in dying just because you don't want to use the same defense again come on one more one more why can't i jump that high i can't make it out of the block that's the problem right now if i do this perhaps ooh, almost jumped off I still, even with the impact brace mod, I don't want to take my chances and jump too high. Because I'm just afraid that I'm going to end up breaking stuff. Now, if I'm not mistaken, guys, you can with the wooden. If you can upgrade your wood, you don't have to go for flagstone. So you skip that level. So if you can, it's actually cheaper or easier, rather, um, just to go for the wood first and then skip the flagstone altogether. I'm not sure if that's still a thing, uh, but it used to be a thing. Okay, now, what to do in front of here? Um, with a pillar like this, if they get knocked down, they'll still roll off, right? But will they walk on the pillar? That's a problem. Hmm. I could just do this because these are actually touching. It looks kind of cool as well. 
But if I could put it on its side, so the zombies can uh, fall off when they fall. But I don't know if they're actually path. I'm not going to take that chance for now. There's no point in taking that chance and then you end up dying. The rotation, and then for this one, we need the centered pole. I don't want to jump down there in case I really have to. Um, yeah, so this one's just going to be advanced. Okay, I just missed that one. I don't know why the rotation everything matches that much to me, but it does. If it's not right, it feels so off. Okay, so this is going to be the wall going up. Technically, it could just be a half block on face rotation. And it doesn't even have to be that block. I think I'm going to use the concrete, like the rebar on that. I'm going to use for like the most important structural pieces. And then from there, we can just use cobble and flagstone as the rest. Because just this part over here, this is the most important part. If we can get that reinforced. Um, so I need to make sure we don't spend too much. Ooh, you see that? We're almost out. So I can't afford to use any more concrete mix on the rest of this base. This needs to be reinforced concrete. There you go. Thank you. Dry. Please, please dry. I don't know why certain parts don't dry that fast. Some dry insanely fast and others just take forever. Okay, so if I can stand there and melee most of the zombies. But we also want some of them to be able to fall off. So we're going to have to make use of this block again. I need to make sure that we also don't go too heavy right now. I'm going to be so mad myself if I go too heavy. Okay, so we're going to go a full block. Copy rotation. We're just going to go for a 3x3. Three three. It should be enough, hopefully. Um, if the zombies decide that they're going to break it instead of going up the stairs, then we have a problem. I thought I heard something just now. This middle pillar, instead of making it concrete, we're just going to make it cobble. Remember guys, this is flagstone, the weakest block. I think flagstone is like 300 or 250 or something HP. And then cobble, if I'm not mistaken, is like 1 point something. Yeah, 1.5. So it's definitely worth going for that second upgrade. The middle pillar I want to do now because we can always later do the outside pillars. But the middle pillar you can't reach again. It's unfortunate that I can't make it reinforced concrete. Um, I should have actually made the middle pillar, uh, that one reinforced concrete and gone from there. But stuff like that you regret later on. I can't, afford to, I can't afford to focus too much on mistakes or past decisions. We just have to do this right now. Okay, so uh, from here we are going to do... I think for that we're just going to use normal walls, like plate walls. And then this one doesn't have to go too far away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Um, I know it can only hold 10 blocks, if, if I'm not mistaken. You go, yeah, it can hold 12 blocks. Okay, so it can hold one more on this side. One more on this side, but then we have to start thinking of like the walkways and stuff as well. If it goes too far out, then the structural integrity will tank. Also, um, that's for rebar, the, the structural integrity. So for normal cobble like this, it's going to get even weaker and weaker. If I can just give myself a blade trap, that, should, that would actually work very nicely. I'm going to make myself two entrances, which is kind of dumb. Um, guys, I like, for those of you that know my channel, you know I like symmetry. So it has to be left and right. But technically, you only need to, to go one side and down. So the stairs go up, they fall down, they get over, whatever, they get to you. Um, if you make two like this, I wonder if I shouldn't leave this one for now. Just do the one side. And away from the cars, because if these explode, we have a problem. They do respawn though in this mod, that's the only thing that sucks. If they respawn at the wrong time and the zombies explode them, oh, that's damage. Okay, so um, let's just do this. I want to have it a block or two away. And then we're going to have a quarter block. Come on, quarter block, quarter block. No, that's a center. Please tell me you have a quarter block. No. I don't think this one has a quarter block. It has wedges. We could use the wedge tip design as well. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do instead then is use the wood. Remember what I said, if you have wood, this is actually a cheaper, uh, the cheaper option. You just need a quarter block. Go for advanced rotation. And I should actually do the one closest. Yeah, it should be this one. Remember, I want to use the blade trap trick that I used last time. So that needs to be actually a few ball blocks away. Copy rotation or copy shape. Copy rotation. Hmm. Yeah, this will work. So basically, that block I just placed, that will be one of the defining blocks. Um, then this one, yes. See, we're going to remove this one. This one's going to stay because that's where the blade trap's eventually going to be. Okay, so now, um, how far can this go? I think this one must go all the way. 
And we can just connect it like so. We can upgrade this then to at least call. You can't upgrade that. You can't upgrade the wood. That's bad. That's bad, which means we need a concrete... Damn, that means we need a cement mixer. That is so messed up. Look, what I could obviously just do is we could go for a wedge tip defense. The wedge tip will also work. But with the wedge tip, the zombies have more of a chance of making it over. That's the only thing that sucks. But I can't afford for wood... Uh, I can't afford for the wood to break during the horde. That's going to be disastrous. So now I have to do this. Losing out on those resources. And copy rotation, copy shape. Let's do this again. On face rotation. Oh, I could actually do this. They should still walk on the bottom part. And this is going to be like a quarter... Yeah, that's going to be like a quarter block. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. That actually works. Um, Yeah, now the problem... Oh, don't waste it, John. Okay, see, now the problem is this isn't strong enough. Um, Damn, that was a waste just now. See, this is the problem with me. I always... I just build it. Um... I don't taste it beforehand and then, well, you'll regret it later. That's stone. But I don't care about that. I just want to quickly replace this. Replace this. It just needs a little bit of weight support for now until we have everything in place. Ugh. Come on, I can't afford to misplace blocks. Especially since we are running out of cobble, we can't afford. Okay, so this one has 500 HP, not bad. Especially in the beginning, if you can't afford um, to upgrade it to cobble, 500 is not bad if the base defense is actually awesome or works really well. Okay, so now we need to do this quickly. Um, let's see if we can't quickly go for a wooden one. Wooden wedge. This is going to uh, get removed anyways later. I just want to get the rotation done and I don't want to waste any resources. So we do this, then copy rotation. And just place it on this side. One, two, three, four and five and then we do the one going down to the bottom copy rotation remember guys the only re reason i'm copying rotation like that is later if you upgrade this to re uh, to steel and the rotations are different then the steel is gonna look really messed up um so you have to make sure you do it right from the start how does this look like wood and also i can never tell the wood apart from the stone like look at this this is almost exactly the same in the past, you could tell, okay, this was wood, this was stone. But they removed that function or that ability altogether. Now, the problem is, will this hold its weight? If I remove this and it all caves in, that's a massive waste of resources. If this was concrete mix, this would definitely hold. What I could do, though, to make sure this holds... Uh, okay, let's just see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 more or less, right? Um, I could just, I could remove these blocks over here and it will help with the weight. I'm just afraid that all of this together might be a little bit too heavy. But for that, I'm going to have to stand on the top. I'm not going to take a chance right now. So copy rotation, copy shape. These are, oh yeah, uh, it won't fall now because of that wooden frame over there. So I want to make sure that the weight is as little as possible. This one also holds 12, yes. So this should do the trick if I remove this. We wasted the resources on this side now. But we need the space, guys. We need the strength. I mean, these are one, two, three blocks on this side. Well, it's a ton of resources, but three blocks worth of weight. So if we can go one, two, three, four, and then start carrying from this side, it should definitely keep up. Which means during the horde, we'll definitely be able to use this as a base. Now, the a nice thing is, after we're done building here... I'm going to go and see if we can't loot a few more POIs, get more uh, resources, and sell them. Because if I can buy more, remember day 7, the trader resets. Uh, we bought most of the concrete, so hopefully as more after the reset. Come on, stamina. I need to work on my... St oh yeah, we leveled up. Completely forgot. We have four skill points. Nice. Okay, so um, I do want to be able to jump one block higher. There you go. That's all I'm interested in. Uh, I need to be able to run and gun. That's, that's a really important one. But better bar and that stuff's also important. Remember, this one needs to be as high as possible so we can get the position. We need the medic in case the bird infects us, which in this mod is a very big chance. Um, Yeah, let's go for this one. I might regret it later. Wait, you know what? Uh, this is craft workbenches and cement mixes. So we'll go for this one, one, and then we'll go for this one. So now we need four more points at least and a fifth one over here. 
No, we need six more. We need to get to level three out of four physician for the first aid kits. Damn, this is expensive. If we can just find the schematic for it, we'll be on our way. At least now I can jump higher. This feels so much better. Okay, so uh, I'm going to count this quickly. One, two. Oh, hello, P. Bacon. Chris P. Bacon. There's a ton of meat walking right there, I think. If I can quickly kill it. Last time all I had to do was shoot its face and it just exploded on me. We need as much meat as possible. So if I can actually quickly do a ton of damage. The only problem is, guys, remember, if you remove the head. Uh, sometimes when skinning an animal, if you uh, break the head and the body stays behind, it doesn't do anything to this HP. So you get bonus meat technically for skinning its head off. Or decapitating it. Wait, what just... There's Earth Quest or something making ding ding sound in the back. Okay, so we should be able to jump this now. Oh, that's so much better. We just have to watch out for our stamina. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes! The structural integrity is fine. I just want to make sure everything is upgraded before we pick that up. But for now, unfortunately, there's no chance of having a blade trap over here. Because having a blade trap would mean a ninth block for the side. And then also the blade trap itself also has weight. So the, obviously the more weight you use, the worse this gets. Um, if this is all steel, then I think it can hold like 20 or so blocks. So it's way, way better. Moment of truth. Please don't fall in on me. And if I stand on it? Cool. Okay, now we just have to watch out for the zombies. Don't destroy this over here. So as long as they can't see us standing there, they shouldn't do any damage. Ooh, they shouldn't do any damage to this over here. I hate spiders. I hate, you know what? Let's just do this first because he is going to attack us. That is one gigantic spider. Uh, I need to hit it. I'm wasting ammo. You don't tell me I can actually jump this. A spider of its size. I don't know if I should, I'm actually hitting it in the face or not. I want to see how much damage it just did. And you can't loot that. That's weird. But yeah, how much damage? Ooh, that was actually a ton of damage. So we need to make sure that while we're looting, we get some more cobble. This whole outer surface, I think, needs to be cobble. If it's not cobble, this is not going to work. And then also, we need to technically place a frame or a hatch over here. Because if they break through that, then the hatch is also like a last line of defense. Okay, now, um, we have a ton of these blocks left. So what I'm going to do is just go for the plate section. Advanced rotation. I think I need to leave a side of here as well so we can actually see the stairs. If we can see the stairs, it's going to be on this side. If we can actually see the zombies over here and they're moving, we can just uh, shut this um, hatch every now and then. Um, the more space, the better. Let's start with this side first. Because obviously this is the defensive side. The other side that we really need to stop zombies from entering. Um, I also need to see if we can't at least make this concrete. Because I, I don't know if you guys know this, for those of you who don't play the game a lot. But the zombies will, even, even if they're standing there, they will try and break this and break through here. Um, remember, they cho uh, choose the path of, uh, path of, less, of least resistance. There you go. Path of least resistance. So if they deem that it's easier just to jump this corner, they'll do it. Bubble. I only have 69 left. I can't afford to waste. Okay, so this one, let's just see. See, now the problem is on the outside, I'm going to have to place a block. So this one on the outside the corner is going to hold another plate. I don't want to put that there. The nice thing about doing this, though, is the zombies. there's no chance of the zombies seeing you through nooks and crannies. Because all the blocks are completely blocked out. Which is actually really good. You don't want zombies being able to see you at all with this defense. Um, this one, I'm going to have to decide now. How am I going to do this? Should I place that one in the corner or should I go from here like this side? Yeah, let's just, let's make the mirror images of each other. Three and then one. Should I open this one or should I open this one? Technically, I should have opened the middle one over here. It's just 500 HP, so I can quickly technically break it as well. So I don't have to worry too much. See, now I can't place blocks there. I need to do it on the outside. Like this. Boom, boom, boom. 
I'm just gonna break open the middle pillar so it's easier for me to get inside. And then I need to make myself an entrance as well. I always forget this part. If you don't have an entrance, how are you gonna get into your own base? Okay, so I'm just gonna drop down. Please, no wandering ward. It's been a really long time. And we don't have stairs over here yet. I don't want them doing any damage to this base right now. So technically we need that one's rotation to place this over here. There you go. Okay, while we're out here, let's just do this. I really feel so naked out here, guys. The amount of zombies that can actually get you from here is insane. Okay, um, we're gonna go for that rotation over there then. Boom, there you go. I need to actually make myself a ladder on the inside. But I don't think I'll be able to do that because now there's no blocks. See, all these blocks are occupied on the inside now. So if I were to place something over here, I should be able to jump out if I do something like that. But then the zombies, I don't know if the zombies will still part me normally if I'm doing this. By the way, if, if I die, I die. Um, this defense is just for now. Um, I'm actually kind of curious to see how different the hordes are now. Uh, because it's been, like, a, guys, this has been a really long time since I've played this mod. It's been a really, really long time. So if I survive this horde night, I'm going to be so chuffed to myself. Technically, I can make a hatch right above my head. And if I need to escape, I can escape. What we can do for now is just at least block this off. But it needs to be a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. Because if a vulture appears during the nighttime, we need to be able to kill it before it breaks in too much. I should actually quickly go arrange those on the roof as well. Those air conditioners. The sooner we get enough electrical parts and mechanical parts, the better. Because that's for the mechanic class. And obviously, we also need ourselves like a nail gun or a claw hammer or something. We just need to go looting, basically. If we can go looting and get lucky with some loot like that, then we don't have to make it. We don't have to waste the resources. I mean, just with this, we've just already used up all of our cobble. The nice thing is we have so much wood. If we can make a wooden base that lasts, then our problems will be a thing of the past. As you guys have noticed that by now, um, this defense, we should be able to escape. The reason for that being is, if I were to stack up, say, for example, I know that the uh, rebar block over there is going to break, right? The poles. And the zombies will get in. As soon as I start stacking upwards, all the blocks around me are supporting that frame. So even if they destroy the frames underneath me, I should still be able to keep on stacking because those frames are going to be stuck in the air. I'll show you what I mean now when I'm jumping downstairs. Just for those that might not have an idea of what I'm talking about right now. So basically, if you do this, if I stack up and the zombies come in and they destroy frames underneath, look at this. It's floating. Because all of these blocks are occupied, this is actually keeping up the frame. So all I need to do, I'm going to place some frames above me like this. And then if I see they're breaking through, I'm just going to do this and I'm going to jump up. As soon as we get to this spot, we just have to jump out. We're free. And then we need to make it to a roof or something. So I'm thinking of actually placing myself a few ladders, but I want to go that way, right? I need to actually place a few ladders over there so I can just jump up, jump over, and then run to the next base. But that is the trader building over there, so that's bad. As soon as we get to the trader building, we're going to get teleported away. We need to make it to that one without luring them to our base. Okay, uh, we need to make an entrance over there. I think for now we are done with this defense. Um, reason I'm saying that, we don't have enough cobble to keep on going. And I also want to make these two poles of here concrete. If possible, all of this needs to be concrete. I want to test this something. This is one, two. If I can place a block over here, right? Like a full block, half block, doesn't matter. And I can place a half block uh, over there for now going up all the way. At least for now, that will help with the structure integrity. Although, I, I really don't want to cheese it at all during this series. So, I don't think I should do that, even though I'm really tempted to do it. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, yeah, that's the wedge we placed. Now, I just need to make myself a proper way into this base, and we are set for the horde. Obviously, we need to watch out for... I wonder if I shouldn't use spikes. It's been so long ago since I've actually used spikes in my defenses. But right about now, that's just going to come in handy, I think. If the zombies are at least also dying on spikes, not just by my hand, then that should help us tremendously. The thing I'm really worried about, guys, is the phantasms. The stronger the bosses, the worse off our base is going to be. 
Yeah, yeah. Man, my stamina drain is insane. I just really hope the zombies don't mess with this defense before I'm back. Imagine this tree was helping the structure integrity. I shouldn't even joke like that because it might have been. No. Phew. Oh yeah, but yeah, hopefully the buses don't explode. But even if they do explode, then they'll leave a wheel behind. I don't know. Look, on a multiplayer server, that's kind of cool. You never lose resources uh, or cars because even if you wrench them, they respawn after a while. Um, The wheels that they leave is like 25k HP or 50k or 100k or something. And it's like a spawn point or place marker for that stuff. So that's kind of cool. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I thought I might have some cobble over here. But yeah, that's kind of cool. But also... In a single player game like me, I like playing loot respawn off. So if a car keeps respawning, I'm going to be so tempted to actually go and wrench it. I'm the type of guy, I stick to my morals unless... <laughs> okay, I have a building supply I'm going to put there. I'm going to put this one there, that one there. I want to make sure we have everything on us that we need right now and we need to eat and drink as well. Food and water is getting dangerously low. Especially water, damn. Okay, so still 13 blocks like so uh hobo stew gives you water as well well we need you do need a lot of water so it doesn't matter if we eat that right now forges i really want to start scrapping and doing stuff over here we do have this so we should be able to at least do a few things um but what are we going to need right now we don't really need nails because all our boxes are here Boom, boom, uh, bars. Oh, we might need some iron bars, but that requires clay. And I do need the clay for the other quest, so I don't want to waste any resources right now. What I can... Whoa. Uh, what I can do right now... Let's make ourselves... I wanted to say let's make ourselves a hatch. No, not now. Um, I want to make myself a gun repair kit, because at the moment, this gun is going to run out of quality, and then we're going to have a problem. So we need that, we need some duct tape and this. Then you make yourself HD gun oil. And what else do you need for the HD repair kit? HD repair kit, handguns. We need one spring and one cloth. Yeah, it's very expensive to repair stuff, but at least in this mod, you get a ton of resources. So it's not gonna be a problem at all. Okay, and what do we need still? Forged iron, just one. At least it's affordable. Imagine it was way more expensive. Okay, handgun parts we are going to drop with the weapons for now. It's a shame we don't have any more resources. Well, technically we do have stone and we have some clay. So what I could do is actually start making myself some more... Wait, 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 wait. Concrete mixer. We should be able to make this right now, right? Uh, no, it's called a cement mixer. Yeah, we should be able to make it right now, but we need a workbench for that. Uh, workbench. I forgot that I actually unlocked it. There's an HD workbench, which is really expensive. Or this one for now. But we don't even have a claw hammer. We do have a spare wrench, though. There you go. Okay, uh, for a wrench, we are going to need more clay, more ores. So for that, we are unfortunately going to have to use our last bit of clay over here. And we just need to go mining, that's all. It's, it sounds so daunting, but as long as I just go mining, we'll get all the resources back. But now I just need to do this quickly. Technically, that's going to be faster. And put a few in here. Well, technically, guys, remember, we have chairs. I always forget, in a mod where you can pick up chairs, don't waste your other resources. Oh. I'm so used to Darkest Falls where all you have to do is go and... Uh, well, well you, you can't pick up chairs. So basically, in these mods where you can pick up chairs, it's new to me. Okay, so with that, we should be able to make ourselves a claw hammer. Oh, minus 69er. And I'm not close to leveling up right now. I forgot that I wanted to go for it, but I never did. We just need one level into this. I'll be able to make ourselves a workbench. For now, at least I can start making the, con or the forged iron required for it. Also, let me just quickly do this. I keep on falling through here, and that's going to be very bad later. So we just need some wood. I think I'll put it with the building supplies, yeah. Uh, we just need some wood. We want to make ourselves a hatch, but I think let's just make both hatches. You need to do that. You need some more iron. And then you need to make yourselves this one. I think it works the same with this mod and the other mods, right? 
basically what happens is with this one you can actually go and do the rotation easier because you can see the handle um you can see the handle over here so it's easier to tell which way around it should be so then you do let's just do it this way sometimes you can actually get stuck on a ladder if it's this way around but this way at least we can just walk against the hatch and move down it's easier going down like this but yeah for those of you who didn't know i just want to show you guys this it, it, it wasn't always like this you just needed resources but now you actually need one of these in your inventory when you're upgrading like this you're gonna see on the bottom right there you go it just used the iron one we made so it's kind of dumb at the same time but it makes sense you have to no it doesn't make sense you're upgrading this to iron so basically you're replacing it with this one at least this way you can get the rotation right because if you're placing an iron one sometimes it's really hard to get this right um, it's, and it's annoying as hell. Okay, forged iron we need to make as well. The more the better. We need to make as much as possible right now. So as soon as I can make the claw hammer, I just have to make it. Okay, so my horde base is right here for now. I just want to run in case there's something out here. Oh, probably then do this. I don't want to run out, of in, uh, out here and all of a sudden there's a ton of zombies waiting for me. Okay, so this is how we're going to get into the base for now. And the nice thing is we can do... Ooh. Ooh, please don't tell me you're part of a wandering horde. If you're part of a wandering horde, I'm going to be so mad at myself. I see movement in the back of there, but I don't know if it's just my imagination. Hello. Yeah, I heard you. And it's night time, so you are running fast. Okay. Let's just do this quickly. Okay, so over here, we're just going to put the hatch on the inside. No, we can't. Uh, I thought I was being clever, but I'm not. Okay, uh, what we could perhaps do... What if we do this? The zombie should uh, still be able to stand on the hatch, right? If we do this, if they break through, we just have to do this. Then they have to break the hatch they're standing on. Although they might be able to stand on the hatch and do even more damage to the blocks on top. Although this is the only way we can do it right now. Technically, this one was supposed to be on the outside and the hatch on the inside. So when you open it up like this, it opens up towards the wall, towards the zombie, and blocks them out. Oh well. Change of plans, but at least it still works. I hope. What we obviously could also do is just leave the hatch up like this. Because they will try and destroy the hatch, trying to get to me. And that might actually also work, because I have to break that, then the iron, or the rebar. We'll see. Well, we'll see. As soon as we get to the horde or close to the horde, we'll be able to tell what, what to do next. We'll be able to jump down on proper... I just hope they don't see this and they stand here and wail on the door. Because if they accidentally miss the door and they go for the block underneath, that's going to be a problem. Although, at least if they're standing here, I can shoot them and hit them and whatever. And then just make sure I have some concrete mix on me. Which we need to make sure, guys. At least 50. Because then we can upgrade or repair any damage they do to us. So for now, we get up by jumping there, 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 there. Uh, before the horde, we can actually place a block here and go up gradually to make sure we pick up all the frames behind us. Because if you don't pick up the frames, the zombies are actually going to use that to get to you. Okay, so for now, let's just put all of this away and then we need to go mining and level... Or well, not mining, just level up. We just need to level up and then as soon as the trader opens up, I'm going to see if we can't buy some stuff. But for now, we don't have anything to buy with, so we have to go looting a bit before the horde. If you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, if you miss anything, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.